What's up, everybody, and welcome back to more ukulele. I found out what you need to do. You need to break Capital B's nose. Honestly, I think this is kind of a little mean. Like, I don't know how I was supposed to figure that out. I know it... I guess it kind of sticks out, so you're like, oh, this is breakable. There's like a little... whoops. There's like a little crease there that seems to say, hey, this is kind of fragile, you know. But still, it's, it's one of those things that just doesn't seem like... Wait, how did we... I guess if you just hit anything that you could land on, then you automatically break the flight. There we go. Well, let's try this again. So I'm going to try ground pounding into this. See if that works. Nope. There we go. Okay, that's how you destroy the statue. Sorry, capital B. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. I'm going to go back out here, um, because, um, there's apparently a pagey out here in Shipwreck Creek that involves that crow's nest that's on that little perch thing, and I don't remember if I got it. If I can't find anything, I'll just come back, but I just want to make sure, because I don't want it to come all the way back out here. I'm kind of disappointed that the reptile roll move doesn't involve actually killing those guys. They just involve knocking them away. Like, that seems a little... That doesn't exactly seem very useful to me, but maybe that's just me. Okay. So over here... Do, do, do. Okay, maybe we did get it. Just just fly, just to make sure. Yeah, there's nothing here. We must have gotten it then. Alright, so we will fly back toward the factory. Oh, whoa, that's dangerous. Uh, this is the tutorial zone, isn't it? And you can must be pretty strong to pull that off. All right, we're not gonna worry about the flying. Let's go back the legit way and move on to Tribal Stack Tropics because we need to start looking over there for pages again. There's only like I think two or three left. I think it's three because there's the one you get for all the quills. There's the one you get on top of the tower, and then there's the one for all the the Knights of Hamelot thing. Oh, and by the way, that LP I was mentioning earlier revealed what I was missing with that, the whole Tomb Under the Ramp Pro. So it turns out that there is like a hidden entrance to like an, a completely new area under that, uh, that big tower that you have to go up in order to get to Rampo. And I completely missed this. So we're going to go and check that out. I think we did everything we could here, because we freed that pagey and the KG and all that. Also, I I looked at an online guide just for Shipwreck Creek just to see what it was we were collecting in uh, that first area, and I think the, the whistle was for the quills, because like, there's not very many quills. So perhaps the game was considering them to be rare items, I guess? I don't know quite how that works, but it is what it is, so take that as you will. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully this will be our last for foray into this world. I don't think we really have to worry about doing a whole lot. Well, wait a minute. We got quills that we still need to collect. Let's see how many we got here. We have... 15. Okay, so that's that's doable. 15 quills. Let us use our flight and find this pagey up here, first of all. Ah, here we go. Alright, so there's all this stuff going on up here. There's winds, there's apparently a pagey to collect. So that's 14, 13. Oh, hey, there's that signpost guy. I bet he's going to mistake us for a dentist or something. 
And this will make 11 remaining. There we go. Hey, buddy. No, oh, we're not garbage, man. I think you're the only one who has an, a rooftop apartment here. <laughs> I'm sure Lele doesn't appreciate being called that. So do we just have to get the pagey and that's it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to do that. No! Okay, good. We broke the fall. Okay. So we just need to get... Where's the pagey? Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Come on. I can't really see anything like this. This is not good. Okay, we really need energy. Come on, butterfly. There you go. Oh, the butterflies don't fill it all the way up. I never noticed that. I thought they always filled it all the way up, but I guess not. I guess the more energy you get, the more restrictive it is. There you go. <laughs> okay, where's the pagey? I'm trying to see. There's the page. No! Ah. Ah, come on, camera. Work with me here. There it is. There it is. There it is. No. Come back. Come back, pagey. We can't collect any of these other pieces of paper, can we? Like, I'm trying, and nothing's... <laughs> Maybe the pagey is what's causing all this stuff to happen anyway, so... Whoops. Maybe if we get it, all the garbage will magically be cleaned up. You know? That would make sense for some of these games. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, come on. Where are those butterflies where you, when you need them? Okay, we need to come up with a strategy here, so let's look up. What level is the pagey on? It's like up there. So it's not quite going in like the, where you see those streams going all over the place. It's kind of going slower and it's in, it's on its own little path. There you are. There you are. Eh. Come on, camera. Come on. There you go. Yay! Did that solve the problem, or do we actually have to get everything? What? Did, do we get something special if we do everything? Okay, let's let's figure this out. I think we got something because every time he talks I think that's when we get something okay there's papers there dude if you want us to clean up your trash you shouldn't be so picky about it I really hate the fact that we actually have to use energy to do this, because that's kind of a bummer. Okay, there we go. I know I'm kind of being a little obsessive-compulsive about this, but I really do want to, to just make sure everything's all cleaned up. Oh, I wonder if a sonar blast thing will help here. Oh wait, that's just going to drain the energy more. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that. I don't really don't know what else we can do here. Like I, I think he's just going to 
maybe comment on maybe there's an achievement for it maybe that's what you can do it for which if that's the case then that that's kind of cool get back here let's take a look is that just that one page that's flying around there's two pages there's two pages going around so maybe if we get rid of the pages that will be enough for the achievement Let's give it a shot. Like, I, I, I want to do this. I want to do this right. Wait, there you are. Come on. Ah. <sighs> I hate to walk away from this empty-handed, or empty-papered. Wait, there's three of them flying around still. Ugh. We really need to get more energy. That's what I'm taking away from this. Let's, ca let's count our stuff while we're waiting. We've gotten... We got 11 quills left, like we were thinking. We still have the energy extender here. And we got two pages. So one for the quills and another... What was the other one? Like, the, the Knights of Hamelot. Okay. Alright, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Let's get your stuff here. I wonder if staying in one spot would help. But the problem is, is that you kind of have to make sure you're constantly going up. Because of the... Uh. This is really frustrating. Like, is there a better way to do this? Oh wait, we can run into the butterflies. There you are. No! So I'm worried that if I leave, then this is going to reset. That's my concern, because this game is very inconsistent about that. And the thing is, they don't really seem to fly in a set pattern. It's very... Like, it's circular-ish, but it's a weird kind of circle. Like, it seems to kind of spiral and go all over the place. Like, that, that one doesn't go all the way to the edge. It's just kind of crossing around there in the middle. Okay, let's follow that one. And then you lose track of them like this. Like, I can't see where I'm going now. Then the camera start, starts being annoying, and yeah. You know what? I'm not going to worry about this. We tried. Sorry, buddy. But I'm not going to do any more there. That was worth it. We haven't done fall damage in a while, so. Alright, so we need to find more quills. Oh, that's right. We need to find the... Uh, the Rampo's tomb thing. That is not there, that's a monument. I believe Rampo's tomb is where's that area with Rampo? It's over here in this direction, I know that. I hope we don't have to start the Knights of Hamelot thing again. Like that would be really annoying if we had to do that. Okay. We need to find where this tomb entrance is, first of all. I think it's somewhere down here by where the track is. Here it is. It's over here. There we go. See, that's very well hidden. Like, props to the designers for pulling that off. I hear a pagey. Oh, no. The knight's not here. Aww. 
Wait, why am I getting the rare item noise? Is the rare item in here? Do I... Or is it for the quills? Does that sound when you only have like a few quills left? Maybe that's what it does. Like when you have only a few quills left, maybe it sounds so that you know where those quills are. That would make sense. Like that would actually make a lot of sense because it can get kind of annoying to have to find those last few things. So if the game can tell you like when you're close to them, that's pretty nifty. Like that's actually kind of nifty. So I'm just going to assume that that can refer to like quill like the last few quills you still have left or the actual like collectible things that are like only one of in each world. All right, so let's talk to Porky Pig dude here again. You guys have a you have a lot of enemies that are just like all over you, man. All right. <laughs> I still love Laylee's line. I bet you have a weight-related name. What is it? <laughs> like seriously, there's so many, there's so many like stories and media and you know whatnot that give pigs or whatever these like fat names. They're so insulting. So the treasure really is in the Rampo's treasure chamber. So I guess the knights are just trying to find out where the treasure chamber is. Like, I don't know. Alright. So we have to do this all over again. See, this is what I'm afraid of. Like, if we leave, we have to redo everything. Alright, so first things first, we go over here to the corporate town. And we talk to you. Okay, we'll just we'll skip all the dialogue. I, I just want to make sure we get this done. That'd be far too easy. That's the way it, all video games are, don't you, Nettle? Okay, so now we go to Rextro's place, I think. That's where it is. Whoa! That's the edge of the world. Don't go there. You know what? We can just fly. Keep forgetting we can just fly like this. There he is. We were very close to completing this before, but we went to the wrong place. Or the fact that you were a pig, that gave it away. Alright. Let's go back to Rampo's place. Ooh, we can do this cool jump here. Alright. So yeah, I'm kind of torn about the whole expanding of a world thing. I, I understand why the game designers did it. Because you, they don't want you to feel super overwhelmed when you go to a world for the first time. And all that, so they figured, okay, you can explore the world before... Whoops. You can explore the world before you really uh, uncover everything. So that way when you do uncover everything, at least you've got a baseline for where those first few things are. So that part of it makes sense. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying to have to explore all that stuff and then get to a bunch of dead ends like we did here in this world and have to deal with that. I don't know. It's just, it's not exactly the best setup, I don't think. All right, so let's go back here. I'm trying to think of where else there would be quills here. Like... Maybe there's just some high places and stuff that we haven't really quite explored. So far, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of you need to um, fly in order to get this thing sort of thing things unless it's kind of obvious. Steak and lobster, that sounds nice. Whoa, Laylee, that's kind of a little fast there. Sure thing, we will get it. Do 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 do. All right. 
And I don't hear any more whistling, so I think we got all the quills we can find here. Okay. So, the hunt for quills is about to start. That's kind of the one thing we've got going on here. So, I'll tell you what, we are going to go all around Tribal Stack Tropics and take a look-see. See what we can locate. Hopefully we will discover what we've missed. I'm still curious if we can use the flying ability to go all the way over here to that other place there on the Rampo area. I'm going to try it, just see what happens. I do like the fact that you can look down while you're going down, that is really nice. Wait a minute. Oh wait, it was up here that we were going to look. That's right. Okay, there we go. Anything back here? Nothing! Really? Oh man, I was excited to find some cool quills or something back here at least. Maybe that would have been a little mean, but still. Come on designers, you know you wanted to do that. Okay, let's try not to fall into the great abyss there. Man, remember back when we had trouble with that boss? Those were some crazy times. Oh, we still haven't uncovered that last thing there. You know what? Just for kicks, I'm going to do that. There we go. So can we talk to the guy who originally sent us on the Knights of Hamelot thing and see what uh, he might have to say now that we've done everything? Or maybe he's not there anymore. Speaking of which, now that we know that there are f Yeah, he's not here anymore. I was going to say, speaking of which, now that we know that there are only four of them, that means I think there's one left in the in Capital Cashino. Um... To, to take to a thing, right? Because I think we only did three. We only did three when we were there. Alright. I don't really have a baseline for where we really need to be going now, so... There's still this area, but there's no quills up here exactly. Oh yeah, this is Nimbo's giant thing. Man, I remember the first time I saw this when we expanded everything, I was like, whoa, this is huge. Let me start going down. I don't want to have a hard fall again. I have a feeling that there's something still here in the monument that we missed. I hope that's not the case, but with this, you never know. Let's just take a look. I, I want to go back in and just see. This is... Is this the entrance to the ramp? Yeah, this is the rampy thing. This was kind of a tough challenge, that ramp that we had to turn in order to get to that dude. Whoa! No, no, no! No, no, no! No! I was trying to fly there, but I guess you can only launch when you're on the ground. Okay. Let's not do that. Can we get over here? There you go. There's a pagey over there. What was that? Oh, that was the obstacle course thing. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Okay. So that was the obstacle course. This was apparently nothing. Okay, I'm not seeing quills up here. I think we've got, what, nine left? Eight left? Let's see. It's going to be kind of annoying navigating to this thing. Yeah, eight left in the later worlds. Oh, we're so close to being done with this world, guys. So, so close. There's Kartos's thing. Can we even higher? Like, I'm just wondering how high that we can... How high can we take this, basically? This thing is so massive that it would be so cool if we could go, like, way up here. 
Have we been... Oh, that's right. This is where that Blast... Blast Tui or whatever his name is. Was. And I hear a quill, so... We must be close to something. It's over here. Definitely something we want to find. Ah, quill. I don't hear it anymore, so maybe that was the only only thing to find up here. No. Ah, here we go. Energy thing. Yes. Let's go. Oh my! You take fall damage even when going through the obvious hole-shaped hole. That's kind of a bummer. It's kind of a mean trick there, designers. Okay, so we're down to seven quills, and we got the energy extender. So. That's kind of nice that they put something on the very top. Like, that makes sense. I, I really appreciate it when they do stuff like that. That's not exactly the most well-marked thing. Or the best camera angle, for that matter. Wait, those things hurt? That's not cool. We need health back. We, need our, we definitely need our health back. So at this point, there are, I think, three more health extenders. I've seen video footage of like someone who is able to take their uh, their health up to 12 so I'm pretty sure that that's the max like I don't think there would be any more than 12 you know what I'm just gonna go back down see I'm not inclined to think that there's stuff inside the monument because we were able to explore that area pretty well and it was pretty closed off enough that... Wait a minute. Anything down there? I was gonna say, it was pretty closed off enough that it was not too hard to really notice when things were there. So I'm gonna assume that that's not it. I don't think that's it, at least. But up here... This... I remember we found quills on this rock. I remember that. I, I remember revisiting the Shovel Knight quest area and not finding anything, so I'm guessing... I'm gonna guess that we found everything there that we need. Ah, there we go. There's one over there. Oh! There we go. Get out of my face. There we go. There we go. Come here, Quills. Come to Papa. Right. So that does that bring us down to five now, I think? Four! Okay, we've only got four now. Good, okay. We're getting there. Making progress, making progress. We are getting there. I figured if we just fly around, we might eventually hear that weird wee whistle sound. So yeah, today I learned that apparently that whistle's noise activates when you have only a few quills left. And there are some nearby, so that's really nice. I don't think there's anything here. I think we would have heard whistling by now if there was stuff here. Man, remember the hardest Rexter game was Cardo's Karting? Remember those days, everybody? Oh, that's the bad one. Nope, no, 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 no! We're gonna have to start, like, all the way up by the monument, aren't we? Yeah, up here. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Well, at least we'll get another epic fly over here of this area. It's still strange just how many floating islands there are, but I guess that's kind of par for the course for video games in general. No bees, not today. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna play your game of being stung to death and falling off stuff. One thing I'm curious about is if we could see anything from the race course thingy here. Wow, the monument music starts, like, down here. That's interesting. I never noticed that before. 
I mean, that's the entrance that goes out to Nimbo's area, but still, it's fascinating how that works. So I guess that's just a f be an off school, like being annoying off school. Is there any quills here? I don't hear any whistle noise, so. I'm going to assume there's zero quills there. Let's go back. I still feel bad about not helping that signpost guy out completely, but he's kind of been a bit of a grouch to us, so... Yeah, I'm not exactly super guilty about it. Yo, Quills, any of you here? Maybe up here. No, I guess not. Okay. So we were over here when we died. Maybe if we fly over this area, we can find stuff. Oh, hey, all of this reset. Okay, that's interesting. I hope there's, like, no more hidden areas that we just haven't discovered yet. Oh, there's Clara there. Yeah, for the longest time I forgot her name was Clara. Um, I thought that was a guy at first. But yeah, apparently her name is Clara. Which I totally missed. The music here is different even. It's kind of interesting. So there's the treasury area for Shovel Knight. No whistle noise here. I'm just gonna keep going clockwise here. I I think that's a pretty good approach, right? Yeah, this world is definitely big. I like that. Oh, ooh, I hear a quill. Where are you? Are you anywhere down here in the secret area? No, you seem to be higher. Okay. Uh, this is not really convenient. Let's not do that. Doesn't sound like there's anything down here, so I'm gonna go and see what's up here. I... This is kind of the part of the game that can be a little frustrating, but at least it's only a few quills left now. Wow, it's really close sounding. Ooh, here we go, here we go. I just saw it. There we go. Awesome. Oh, there's only one left. There's only one left, guys. Oh, man. I, I was hoping that was all four of them. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. I have to start all the way here. Oh. Well, time for another epic flyover, except not. Okay, I know once we find this, we'll be done with this world, so... I mean, we might as well at least try, right? <laughs> it's so cool just to see everything. Like, this is one camera angle that is nice. Like, looking down while you're floating down is very helpful. So thank you, game designers, for putting this in here. That is really nifty. Alright, I'm going to go toward Rampo's area, because that's kind of next on our list, sort of. Actually, I need to refill an energy, so let's go here first. Do 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 do. Oh wait, we need to run into them. That's right. Come on, run into them. Really? There you go. I'm not hearing any any whistling, so let's carry on. See, I'm inclined to think that whatever this last quill is, it's probably on some rock or something that we just haven't been on yet. 
Because I don't think it's inside, like, an area that we've traveled to that's very narrow in scope. It wouldn't really make sense, because we would have noticed it. At least, I'm hoping we would have noticed it. I mean, if it's just one little quill that we just missed somewhere, that's going to be... That's going to be really annoying. But I think it's more likely to be in a place like this, where it's, like, out of the way. And not a part of the prescribed path, so to speak. Oh, I don't know. I mean, granted, we didn't really hear the whistle noise before, so... There's also that to keep in mind, I guess. Man, I don't know how in the world we were able to survive without that floaty ability. That's so nice. Is it somewhere up here? I didn't hear any whistling up here, so... I'm going to assume not. Is there anything up here? Nope. I mean, the other place we haven't checked yet is, like, near this area where Nimbo is. We haven't, like, explored this for a while. So you never know. I mean, we could hear some noise, some whistle sounds up in here now that we've gotten everything else, so... It's worth a look, at least. I mean, we can at least check it out. Yeah, I'm sorry if this is kind of not quite as exciting as all the discovering of new things, but I really want to make sure we get everything in this game, so... Now that I've actually seen what it involves, uh, as we've played through it, I think it's within reach. I mean, it's not like... Well, I'm saying this now, and I could be eating my words here later, but... It's not like it's something impossible. But yeah, this... This last quill, I'm... I'm really worried about what, where this is. I'm hoping this is not in a really super dumb location. Oh, man. I'm tempted to go back inside the monuments where all the inept, the, the robot dudes are. Like, that might be good-ish, maybe. Oh, wait. Right here. Let's go through there. And, oh, that's right. This was that landing area. I'm just trying to run through in my head where I haven't been yet. Well, since the whistling started. Since we've started doing that. So there's that to consider as well. Well, that's where we found the health extender, wasn't it? Okay, what about in here? I think this goes inside the monument, right? Oh no, this is Kartos. Right. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Well, actually, no, no, no. Wait a minute. I'm tempted to do it if we don't find anything inside. Because we did find quills that we never got before, and there's always a possibility that we missed one. But I didn't hear any whistling when when we after we got those two, so... Eh, I'm a little iffy on that one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here again. This area is kind of a little mazy. And I'm going to swing around to where the blowy dude is. So I think this is an entrance, right? Or actually, no, this is the exit. So this could be good. This could be good. We'll go through the exit. We'll see what all is in here. Because this is where we found the pagey. I remember that, because this door opened up for us. Wait, this is back? No! What? Oh, that is not cool. That is not cool. <sighs> that is... That is really mean. Alright, I'm just going to go up to the top at this point. I really don't want to do that. I hope there's like a li if we get really stuck, I hope there's a list online of, hey, here's some quills that you may have missed very easily, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, let's go up, 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 up the stairs we go, and into the tunnel. 
Okay, I don't hear whistling, so that's not a good sign. I can't really see where I'm going either, so that's also not a good sign. Yeah, I don't think it's up here, guys. I don't think so. Oh well, yeah, you're the one that we asked that asked us to kill all of your friends, right? For their birthday. Real real charmer there, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know. And the thing is, I can't really look at a guide for help unless it was one of those kinds of guides that I was mentioning there. So I had to conclude that it's some place that's very easy to miss, that's kind of out of the way, maybe down here somewhere. Because I don't think of it, we haven't really like gone up on these rocks much, have we? Is it here? I don't hear whistling, but... This also looks very low quality texture, so... I'm not very uh, hopeful about it being there. Tell you what, at this point, you guys have seen this world. You guys know what I'm dealing with, so at this point I think I'm just going to cut the video here and I'll return when I find it. How does that sound? Sound good? Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am here in Shovel Knight's area and I'm hearing a whistling noise, so it is somewhere here. Uh, and it's pretty much close by apparently. Is it in here? Nope, not there. I would think it's visible, because normally these things are visible. You don't, Unless they're in a treasure chest, but that's visible, so... I don't think they'd be in a bush or anything. That would be silly. Not there. Okay, it's really loud here, so... Do I need to fly? Okay, maybe I should use the ice flower first. I, I want to make sure I stop that thing. Whoa, we really knocked that the other way there. Nope. There you go. Where are you? Okay, that's not very good. Uh, I'm gonna think that just flying might be good at this point. No, it seems to be getting softer up here. Okay, so it's not higher, it must be lower? Where is this? It's like right around here somewhere, apparently. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, 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 wait a second, wait, 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 wait. This looks suspicious. Except not? Ah, there you are. Yes, we got the last one. And we hit our heads. All right, we finally completed Tribal Stack Tropics. Yay! All right, so let's head back. Except, not like that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head back, and next time, we're going to go to Glitter Glaze Glacier and hope we finish that up. That'll be the first time we've revisited that world since we first went into it, so that is going to be quite a fun trip. So, until next time, guys... Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry it uh, took so long to find all that. But I think it was definitely worth it going through and getting all that stuff. So next time, we will be sure to see if we can wrap up Glitter Glaze Glacier, or at least a significant chunk of it. Because we got a lot of pages left to get in that world. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment, or subscribe. It lets me know I'm doing something right here as a... 
a content creator on YouTube. And either way, I will catch you on the flip side. So take care, and I will see you next time.